Big races at Newton Abbott and Galway can be seen elsewhere on RPTV, but these are the rest of the Saturday highlights, starting in Ballybrid. And day six of the Galway Festival began with a competitive one-mile maiden. Previous winners of the race include subsequent group race performers Sugar Boy and Mikael Glinka. And there's every reason to think the Aidan O'Brien trained winner Iniesta in the orange and blue could be useful. The 15 to 8 shot, a son of Galileo, holds an entry in the Group 1 National Stakes later in the season and shook off the well backed Dermot World trained runner Leaf Cutter to win Coesley. The leader from Leaf Cutter making ground the near side now as they straighten up for home. Leaf Cutter comes to join Iniesta. These two having a great battle. They're clear of in third place, trying to stay on Shanduna Gold. But Iniesta is digging deep on the far side now. And Iniesta and Joseph O'Brien will score by a couple. It wasn't to be a quick fire double for connections though, as top weight Dove Mountain faded close home in the seven furlong nursery. Victory went to the Brendan Duke trained Focus, sporting first time blinkers. The Jackie Bolger owned son of intense Focus was providing Duke with his first winner since June last year, during which time he has sent out 43 runners. And the winner might not be done with yet. He holds an entry at Sligo on Wednesday. Racing up towards the finish now, and it's focused in front. Coming at it, Tom Dooley and Princess Aloof going up towards the line. Focused will hold them off. Second, Tom Dooley. Sticking with the flat action, and a big crowd was at Town Moor for Doncaster's competitive card. New Godolphin trainer Charlie Appleby has wasted no time settling into his new role at Moulton Paddocks, and in the week of picking up his first group winner as a trainer, secured a double at Doncaster. First up was groundbreaking, an unraced son of New Approach who took the mile and a quarter three-year-old maiden. This 450,000 guineas purchase has taken a while to see a race course and doesn't hold any fancy entries. But he got the job done well, winning by four lengths at six to one. Tamely, then Cosmic Curious making ground from the back is deserted, but it's a battle between the Godolphin runners well inside the final furlong and groundbreaking has quickened past Desert Wings in the closing stages. Cosmic Curious running on for third, but impressive debut for groundbreaking. Goes away to win well. Leaders is Ruth Sello, yes. And recent Wolverhampton scorer Winterlude took the feature £20,000 handicap. The three-year-old son of Street Cry slipped in here off bottom weight and boxed on well under Ahmed Ajtabi as elder, more experienced rivals came to challenge. He returned at 9-2. to two. And it's Fennel Bay now being tackled by La Hague and Winterlude. And Winterlude on the outside has now moved through to take a narrow lead from Fennel Bay on the far side, finishing off well Russello and also come on Blue Chip as they come now well inside the last. Winterlude, Fennel Bay, come on Blue Chip, finishing off well down the wide outside, but it's Winterlude just in front. Winterlude with the advantage. Winterlude takes it a double. Finish of the day came in the mile and a half handicap though as bottom weights emerging in the cheek pieces and Duke of Perth fought out a protracted battle up the home straight. In the end, the David Ellsworth trained three-year-old emerging came out best, rewarding those who backed him at seven to one. Emerging though with a half length lead, Duke of Perth. Wadi Al Hatawi is plugging on under pressure in third, racing towards the line. Emerging Duke of Perth battling back on the far side. Emerging just, emerging gamely holds Duke of Perth. And also on the card, Tael in the blue and white. Third in the Mill Reef Stakes last season, made a winning return to action in the six furlong conditions race. The John Gosden trained cult quickened well in the closing stages under Robert Havlin and looks set for a step up in grade soon. Very strongly towards the far side with the noseband. Super Boot is staying on with Royal Rock from the back of the field. Tyel towards the near side. Dubar we sound known joined by Valbcheck. Tyel the near side putting in a strong run. Near side it's Tyel far side. It's Valbcheck. These are the two going on now from Royal Rock going for the line. It's Tyel on the near side who's too good and Tyel goes on to win. A double for and earlier on the card, evening attire in the green capitalised on the interference between second and third to win the juvenile maiden on debut. Has gone third and is closing in to challenge the front two. They're edging over towards the far side. Roseburg, L. Allen, little as scrimmaging there as Roseburg went right across L. Allen and it's allowed Evening Attire to come through on the near side and take over and uh, could be set for a winning debut here. Evening Attire gets in head. And finally, £100,000 was up for grabs at the afternoon summer jumps fixture at Newton Abbott and the course was rewarded with a solid set of entries across the card. It was outsider Sheriff Hutton in the yellow who took the 20 grand three mile three handicap hurdle under Richard Johnson. The winning point to pointer who returned at 16 to one fought out the finish with another big priced runner in Ben Bain Head.
in second and then Union Saint and Shoegazer as they head down towards the 12th and final flight and it's Sheriff Hutton who's three or four legs ahead needs one more good jump to secure the victory Sheriff Hutton at the last he's over safely Ben Bainhead is rallying in second but Sheriff Hutton needs by a leg for the half and Sheriff Hutton will win for Richard Johnson and Martin Hill Sheriff Hutton wins to Ben Bainhead on the bridge was third Union Saint fourth and pure faith Shoegazer Possol Cockney